I'm going to model a mechanism for uh, drawing Booth's Lemniscate. Uh, here it is. Uh, so, uh, kind of a flattened um, ellipse that we're kind of going to end up with. So, let's go to um, GX Web, the free um, browser based version of geometry expressions, and um, uh, model, this model this mechanism and this curve. Uh, we'll start with a point at the origin and we'll have um, a line through that. And then we're going to have a fixed length crank that, with a slider that goes along um, that line. So point B is going to be a specific distance along the axis from point A. We'll call that A. And then this line length is going to be fixed. And we'll call that B. And we can drive it with an angle theta. Uh, there we go. Now, the um, rest of the mechanism, uh, we have a, a crossed over uh, link like this, um, where this, this link here is uh, length A, the same as AB, and this link here is B. So let's just um, make B a little bit bigger. Okay. And um, final link comes up to the, the that uh, line, and this link is uh, also length B. And now the curve of my limnis boost limniski is um, traced by point. E. And there it is. Let's we can tinker with B relative size of B and watch it to uh, uh, change a little bit. We can actually be pinched if B is pretty darn close to A. And we can watch it move um, if we want. No, oh, didn't want to do that. I wanted to, move, I wanted to watch data move. So um, there's my uh, there's my curve. Uh, I would like to go and uh, find its equation. Let me do that. So um, again, one of the problems. Well, so um, this is um, GX Web is attempting to compute um, my equation. Um, GX Web will actually spend about a minute doing that um, before it gives up. I happen to know in this case it's about to, it's about to give up. Um, the uh, the uh, equation is it's getting it, it, it's not having uh, any luck in um, in simplifying the uh, implicit uh, equation um, so let's just um, and draw a veil over that for a moment uh, let me change B again so we've got a little bit more visibility what, what we do if we're not getting a, a solution, one thing we can do, let's see if we have got a solution, no, it timed out. Um, one of the things we can do is change the parameterization. Now, um, we're driving this mechanism with theta. Um, instead of turning, uh, of driving it with theta, we could drive it by um, specifying, so it's got a bit of theta, 
we could instead specify this point C slides um, up and down that line. What we could do is specify the distance between C and A. Now we'll call that T, just to reinforce the fact that it's a parameter. So now as we drag and increase and decrease T, um, we're still going to be uh, turning around, but, but we're still going to see the mechanism turn. If we trace E um, as T varies, um, get part of the curve. How much of the curve are we, um, uh, could we expect? Well, let's let T vary down as far as zero, perhaps. And it's going up to 24. Well, that's giving us a, a solid kind of half the, the curve. Um, then we can still change our B and uh, have it uh, uh, see the various aspects of the curve. But we're, we're only getting half of it. it won't, we can't push it round to the uh, to the other half um, uh, by changing that parameter. You can see as we get smaller. As T gets smaller, it's going to push its way around there. So, um, but the question is, uh, with that different parameterization, it's conceivable that um, GX Web will have more luck um, with finding the implicit equation. And so let's just see if that did um, improve things for us. Well, yes, it did indeed. It has given this equation, um, uh, not <laughs> not timed out. Um, so that the lesson there is uh, the performance of GX Web um, does sometimes depend on the parameterization.